My name is Mohit Kalra and I'm from Cambium Networks. Today in this video, I will be talking about the CN Palette E700 Outdoor Wi-Fi Access Point. It is an 802.11 AC 4x4 device with an 8 dBi omnidirectional antenna. It is also an IP67 weather resistant industrial grade gigabit Wi-Fi access point. As part of this video, I will be talking about the CN Palette E700 out of the box components, different parts of this access point, insulation accessories and how to power on this device. Let us take a look. First, let's begin by looking at what comes as part of this E700 box. This box comes with the quick start guide, the E700 access point itself, the mounting bracket. It comes with two hose clamps, two cable blanks, set of screws, one POA injector and a power cord. Please note that the POA injector and the power cord is optional and should be ordered separately. This access point is designed as a wall or a pole mount. You will require a Phillips head screwdriver if mounting to a wall or a flathead screwdriver and a 12mm wrench if mounting to a pole to complete the installation. On the bottom of this device, there are two LEDs that provide the status of this access point. The first LED is a power LED that glows amber in color signifying that the access point is powering up and initializing. When the access point boots up properly, the first LED turns green in color. The second LED glows amber in color signifying that the access point is working in a standalone mode and is not connected with the CN Maestro cloud controller. The second LED starts glowing blue in color when the access point is working with the CN Maestro cloud controller. The reset button is located on the back of this device and can be accessed from here. This button has two uses. The first, when you press this button quickly, it restarts a unit. Second, when you press this button and held down for about 10 seconds, it resets to its factory defaults. The main port is the gigabit ethernet port which is required to power on this device and should be connected with the network. The secondary port is a gigabit ethernet port which is used for bridging. It is also used to connect additional devices such as a security camera. Now that you're familiar with this access point, let's take a look at how it is installed. For this video, we're going to focus on a pole mount. However, this access point can also be mounted on a wall. Please refer to the quick start guide for these additional mounting options. The first step requires you to connect the mounting plate with this access point and secure it with M5 screws by applying 3.0 Newton meter torque. Now that the mounting bracket is securely connected with this access point, insert the hose clamps through the pole mounting bracket one by one. The first one and the second one like this and clamp the access point onto the pole. Align the access point with the guide rails of the radio holder and slide it downwards until it clicks to its place. Next. Let's take a look at the GLAN connector and its components and I'll show you how it is assembled with the Ethernet cable. The cable GLAN consists of various small parts. The first is known as the cap which looks like this. Second is a plastic cover along with the seal which looks like this. In order to expose the seal, remove this plastic cap which looks like this. After that, Pull apart the seal to make it look like into two parts. Now let's take a look at how to assemble these parts with the Ethernet cable. First, pass the Ethernet cable through the cap and the plastic cover. After that, connect the two parts of the seal over the Ethernet cable and insert it into the plastic cover. After that, insert the seal into the body by passing the body through the Ethernet cable and connect the cap with the body firmly like this. After the cable gland is assembled with the Ethernet cable, we will connect this Ethernet cable into the main port of this access point to provide the connectivity 
and lock the cable blank into its position with the access point like this. As a guideline for outdoor deployment, it is highly recommended that Cambium Gigabit Ethernet search suppressor should be utilized between the access point and the power adapter. Also, if the secondary port of this access point is not being utilized, please insert the port cover that comes with the access point. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.